Hi crafty friends, it's Paper Bun Loves here. Thanks for joining me today. Here is the tutorial on how to do the foundation pages of my six by three mini albums. You can call them traveling notebooks. You can call them mini albums. You can call it a gift. So we're going to make the foundation pages of this album. And it's going to be so fun and you're going to be addicted and then you're going to wait want to use all different collections this is the doodle bag hey pumpkin 2024 collection you can use it any time of the year but of course it's come out especially for halloween by doodle bug design it's super cute so let's start with the foundation pages just a heads up this is the fourth time i've recorded this there's been so many different blunders that have gone on in my Ugh. anyway <laughs> let's just get straight into it because you guys have been so patient first of all you'll need well you don't really need you can use a 12 by 12 like this or you could use a six by six pad i've used both because you've got the three by three pages meaning three by three which is a folded piece of six by six and then i've also got where is it? Ah, the pages that flip open. And that's a set that's a six and then a, like a two, so an eight. So let's first of all start on the basics. Let's start today on the basics. So you just want to grab your six by six pad and you want to pick any one of the papers. I love this one. It's so super cute. Look how tiny those cute little pumpkins are. So what you want to do is just let's clear some space. Fold in half. Oh, I love that stripe as well. I love them both. I love both sides like that. You just fold it in half. Do you see how I just folded it in half? And that makes the six by three album from your six by six. And then what you want to do is fold a whole lot of these. And then you want to get, and then you just adhere them back to back okay so you just put glue here glue here stick them together and they end up like this page 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 and so forth okay so what we want to do is though we want to put something in between like this page so that they all kind of have different pages and stuff. So let's do a six with an extra bit of two on the side using a 12 by 12. If you've got an eight by eight pad, that's awesome. That's also really good as well. So let's pop those aside, push this, get some room. We'll use this white cobweb paper. So we want to cut it six. Okay, so you grab your scoreboard and go six. And you want to make note that this is a six. Okay, so if you if I trimmed it here, that would just give me a six by six. Once folded, it would give me the size of this. A six by six. Or a six by three. But because we want to make this, this page, with the little pop out or the little fold out or a little hidden journaling spot, we need to remind ourselves that this is a six. Let me pop this score down here so you can see. So this is a six. You don't want to snip this down. What you want to do is you want to bring this over till it sits on the eight. You can even go eight and a half. But let's put it on there. Without moving anything else, just score down so that you have the eight mark there. Now getting your tool, you want to mark off two inches. You can go two, you can go in, but you need this to be at least. So you go two. Hold that in, 
push that to the corner right there where you would normally snip but you're not going to and remember now it's a six okay so you want to score down to three you want to score the third because when you fold your page you see you have your pop out you see that and then you just glue the rest on like so remember I don't want this page showing because I already have that page there you can but you know you want to go if you want to go for something different so I'll show you what you do is you get your liquid adhesive You can see you've got page, page, this one, but it pops open. And then you just get your other piece and then you can glue that in there, which we'll do right now to show you. start from the beginning got a page there this one this one but look it opens up and then back to the normal and you just keep going you can fold a whole lot of these and then put them all together and decide which pages you want where And then you can alternate it. But these are the foundation pages, my friends, of how to make or how to start off the 6x3 mini album. I've made so many projects. Um, so I've made so many mini albums with Doodle Bug Collections and Rosie's. Just, it's just so super cute. But that is how you do foundation pages to the little six by three let me know if you have any comments or any questions or anything else let me also know if you want me to continue on or make a series on how to do like the tabs and things um but please leave your positive comments down below and i'll see you next time bye friends